Hello, I'm Wendy from 3D Worldwide. In this video we are going to create material IDs for different parts of the subject. Then we're going to apply a multi-sub-object material. So let's get started. Let's press in the perspective viewport, then press Alt-W on the keyboard to maximize it. Now we'll go to the Create panel, Geometry, and in Standard Primitives we're going to choose a teapot. Just drag out our teapot right in the center. Now we can go over to the Modify panel and we'll just type in a radius of 50 and segments we're going to type in 18. Let's turn on edged faces. We can do that by pressing F4 on the keyboard. There we are. Now we can see all the subdivisions in our object. We can get rid of the bounding box also. Let's just press J on the keyboard. OK, right click on the teapot and from the transform menu we're going to convert to an editable poly. Now we can start to edit our teapot. We'll go to the editable poly, we'll select the element mode and we're going to choose the center part. Now if we just scroll over to polygon material IDs we can see it's automatically been set to number one. That's fine, we'll leave that set at number one. Now on the keyboard let's press Control i This will invert the polygons. As we can see now, we have selected our handle, the lid, and the spout. We'll go back over to the polygon material IDs, and we're going to set that material ID to 2. Let's select the handle now. We'll go over to the polygon material IDs, and we're going to set that one to 3. And now the lid. Let's set the material ID to 4. We're going to use a mental ray arch and design material, so we need to have assigned the mental ray renderer. Let's go to rendering, render setup, or scroll down to assign renderer. And then here beside production, make sure we've got mental ray renderer. If you haven't, click on the small box and select mental ray renderer from the menu, then OK. I'll just click on editable poly to turn off the sub object mode. Now press M on the keyboard or go to the material editor. Now here in materials, standard materials, we're going to choose the multi sub object. We'll just drag that out to view one. Double click to open it. We need four material IDs. So we'll go to set number and we'll just type in four, then OK. Let's go to the mint array art and design materials and we'll just drag out the material here. We're going to connect it to number one. Let's go back to the art and design material, we'll double click to open it. Now in the diffuse color slot we'll click on it. We're going to choose a yellow, just bring this dial up, then say OK. Let's go back to the multi sub object, double click to open it. Here we are. You can see that our material ID number one, the arch and design in the yellow. We can also apply the material, uh, assign the materials by clicking on the none button. Choose the arch and design, then OK. There, it's been automatically connected to number two. We'll do the same for number three. Arch and design, OK. Number four, arch and design, OK. Now we can go to the top bar and click on Layout All Vertically. Now we can see all our materials a lot easier. If we just zoom in, we can see that they're all connected to our multi sub object. There we are. Let's go to the sub material and the colors. Let's click on the small color slot. This is going to then be the material ID number two. We're going to assign it, say, an uh, an orange or a red. OK. We'll do the same for the color slot for material ID 3. Green. We'll just bring that up. And now for material ID 4, blue. All we need to do now is drag the material over to the teapot. Just drag it. There we are. Let's close the material editor. By pressing F4, we can turn 
on and off the edge faces. Here we are. Let's open the material editor up again. And I think I'm going to change the color of the lid and the handle. That's quite easy to do. All I have to do is drag it down and say swap, then OK. Now our material ID 3 is number 4. Let's have a look. There we are. Can you see that? Let's turn on our edge faces one more time. And now I'm going to select this polygon. First of all, I'm going to go to editable poly, polygon mode, and I shall select just any polygon, that one. I'm going to hold the shift key down on the keyboard and select the one right next to it. This will select the loop of polygons all the way around. Now all I have to do is go to the material ID and I'm going to set this to say the number 2. I'm going to do the same down here. I shall select one polygon, hold the shift key down, select the one right next to it and I shall also set, it, uh, set the ID to number 2 and then press F4 on the keyboard. Let's add a second colour to the lid. Let's go to vertex mode. We can zoom in. And we want to select the very centre vertex. We'll just click on it. Then we're going to hold the control key down on the keyboard and select the polygon mode. There we are. We have just selected the full circle of polygons. Let's go back over to Selection and press Grow. We'll press that several times. There we are. We'll just get a few rows. Something like that. Now we can go back over to the Material IDs. And we're going to set the Material ID to 3. There we are. Let's have a look. This is a very easy way to apply multi-materials to an object. Thank you for watching. Enjoy.